Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly update show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody is enjoying their day, the start of the holiday season. And hopefully everybody is having a wonderful uh, 2023. Uh, continued success, health, and happiness into uh, 2024 with only a couple of weeks uh, left. If you are brand new to the channel, thank you very much for uh, joining us, spending a couple of minutes with us. Uh, the only thing we ask is like, subscribe, share, and come aboard. Come aboard to spend a couple of minutes of your day uh, kind of schmoozing with us about uh, the daily activities of this thing called uh, trading, right? The greatest reality show that's not on television. We're going to keep this uh, update very short and sweet, okay? Here we go. The market is good, right? The market is rallying. The market is good. Yeah, that's basically it, right? So you can pretty much move on with your day. But a little bit more breakdown of that, a little bit more context of that. If you guys remember, on the weekend update, we talked about a potential resumption of aggression for what, they, what they're deemed to be called now the Magnificent Seven, right? I call them the, the mega cap uh, technology, uh, beta names, but the media calls them now the Magnificent Seven. And that's the M Microsoft, Meta, uh, NVIDIA, Google, AMD, all that good stuff, right? All, all seven of names. And if you guys remember uh, last uh, last uh, weekend, right, when we closed, we talked about a potential um, move coming back into the money flow, coming back into all these names. And Monday, we had a little bit of a hiccup. And that hiccup was the rebalancing, the NASDAQ 100 rebalancing. We talked about that uh, yesterday on last night's video. And it took a lot of names down below their previous supply zones uh, into uh, into today's session. And what, what we needed, if you watched like kind of last night's video, what we needed today was a rally to get back into striking distance of last Friday's ranges. That's exactly where we are right now, okay? Um, you don't need to spin this tonight. You don't need to kind of, you know, talk about this for 15 minutes. All the big beta names, all of you have been following this channel for a long time, all my favorites, right? The Amazons of the world, right? The Amazons of the world, the Metas of the world, uh, the Microsofts of the world, you know, on the videos of the world, they're all on deck, right? They're absolutely all on deck to, to pretty much get back above their ranges tomorrow. The question is, can they do it? That's literally the only question going into tomorrow's session. If we can reclaim back, right? If we could reclaim back uh, Friday's ranges going into tomorrow's session, we should have a pretty good rally. We really should. The question is, is it going to happen? That we don't know. But we know the key levels, right? If you look at the key levels of the key metrics on all these stocks, you're going to see a common denominator. Stocks are trying to get back either above their 10 days moving average or above their 20 day moving average. Here's in the video, for example, right? You see this 20 day supply, right? You see this uh, orange, burnish, brownish line, right? The video needs to get it back above the 20 day moving average. If you look at Meta, right? Meta just is trying to get back above this 20 day moving average. If you look at Microsoft, it, want, it needs to get back above uh, this 10-day moving average. All these charts are very, very similar. And if you trade like I trade the same names over and over again, you know what happens when these stocks get above supply. And if that happens, and I think what's going to happen, what I think is going to happen, what it really should happen, what, pray to God, it does happen, we should have a, at least an opportunity of a big expansion premium session for tomorrow. Is it going to happen? Right? So that's it. That's basically it. That's the whole day. Tomorrow we have uh, PPI, right? Tomorrow we have PPI. Uh, today was CPI, blah, blah, blah. The next day will be ABCD, ESPN, ABC, and everything else in between. Inflation, inflation, inflation. We know it's here. We're trying to t tame it. We know what's going to happen. Everything's rising, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it, we can't do anything about it. The only thing we could do is manage our lives, right? Manage our trading careers and manage our emotions. Everything else we have absolutely no control over. And, you know, if you spend 2022, this is where I tell traders, you know, if you want to trade, you, you be, a, be a trader, right? Trade both sides of the market. So if you traded in 2022, you know there was phenomenal opportunities uh, on the downside of 2022. If you traded in 2023, you know the upward aggression, the upward bias 
of what we've been seeing now throughout the year has been absolutely amazing. The people who don't get that are the people who are trying to still short tops. If you've been trying to short tops this year, okay, tell me how you did this year without telling me how you did this year. Uh, and anybody last year who was trying to pick bottoms, well, you know, cash is a position, right? Is that what they say? So look, the, the majority of brand new traders are going to find many reasons, r many reasons why they didn't accomplish their goals, uh, why they didn't put themselves in the position. Professional traders, and again, you're, you're a professional trader. It, when I'm saying an amateur trader, it doesn't mean a newbie, okay? We're all newbies at one point or another. An amateur trader is a person who thinks like an amateur, who thinks like retail, who goes with the public. You could be trading for a week and have a mentality of a seasoned pro, and that's the name of the game. Eventually, experience, right? Time will turn you into an established and experienced trader, but you gotta get that mindset. You gotta get that retail mindset, that public mindset out of your, uh, out of your, your, your realm right from day one. Because again, if you watch social media for the last year, they're telling you to pick tops. You're missing out on one of the most historic rallies I can remember in 25 years, and people are still out there trying to pick tops. It's just absolutely insane. We have two weeks left in the year. Uh, the queues look like they're about to, you know, ransack through that 400 number. Uh, if you look at the all-time highs on the queues, uh, we are not that far away, right? Not that far away. Uh, the November November one highs, the November one highs of 2021 was 408.71. Yeah, we're about 10 points away from that. Uh, are they going to get there by the end of the year? Who knows? Who knows? But again, the same thing uh, is keeps on working. We talk about this on every video now, right? Strong stocks buy dips, right? AMD today, uh, AMD today opened light, right? It opened light today and look what it happened. It opened red when green took out the previous day's range, absolutely exploded. Keep buying dips. Even a name like Avago. Remember we talked about Avago last night in the video, right? Avago opened up down two, three points, and Avago ripped, absolutely ripped another 40 points. Keep doing that. Strong stocks that are breaking out need to be bought on rising support, okay? Even take a look at even a stock today like Tesla. And this is literally one of the only ones that's not, you know, not at the top of their range yet. Even Tesla today. And it's far from a strong stock. It's been stuck in this range now since the beginning of November, but even it held the 50-day moving average. We had a beautiful, you know, beautiful, beautiful uh, trade uh, from the 50-day moving average bounce. Uh, so, you know, again, stock is still in no man's land, but this is really showing you and reassuring you as a trader that these levels are meant to be bought, okay? They're meant to be bought, and the point is continue to do so as long as the, the queues continue to build above the 50-day moving average. And we are way above uh, the 50-day moving average. Look at the 50-day. The 50-day is um, <laughs> the 50 day is literally somewhere right here around 364. We're at 400. So uh, it's just an incredible, incredible uh, monster run. Uh, good job for the Bulls. Congratulations for all you guys uh, in the webinar. I've seen some incredible leaps and bounds, not just this year, not just this year because it's a, a rabid bull market because you know even the last year when we had this magnificent sell-off. It's, it's incredible to see people uh, turn into traders one day at a time, one trade at a time, without any stress, without any rush, and it's all based on technical analysis. I have nothing to do with your success. I'm just pointing you in the right direction and showing you what not to do in the first 25 years uh, that I've been clicking a mouse. So kudos to you, and I look forward to seeing how some of you guys are going to take that next step uh, into uh, 2024. So that's it. That's basically it. That's basically the update. You, there's many, you know, there's many times, uh, there's many times uh, of the year you're playing devil's advocate. You're doing this, you're doing that. You're thinking about other things. Tomorrow, the question is, number one, how does the PPI come in? Number two, you got uh, jo uh, Jerome Powell uh, speaking tomorrow. You got the Fed. But by the time the Fed comes, our morning is done, right? Our morning is done. And when everything goes well, we're just down into, uh, into runners. So the question is going into tomorrow, can these stocks, and when I say these stocks, I mean NVIDIA. Can NVIDIA reclaim the 20-day supply? If it can, would be absolutely awesome. Can Amazon get above this whole channel tomorrow? If it can, guess what? It would be awesome. Can Microsoft get above the 10-day moving average? Looks pretty good, right? It could be really, really awesome. So the stage is set, and I want to give you one more. Look at Roblox. Guys, look at Roblox. Look at this long distribution on Roblox. Roblox is a stone's throw away from uh, testing its earnings highs. They had that uh, PR, uh, 
some sort of news came out. I don't know if it was a news. It was like a sort of blip that Nicki Minaj two days ago signed up on Roblox. Ah! Okay. But the point is, if this damn thing confirms earnings highs, this is going to join the party as well. Again, I'm, my focus is on beta names, uh, higher mega cap technology. But if you are a trader and you don't have a specific niche yet, go through your charts. There's so many good looking charts going into tomorrow. The question is, can they reclaim back Friday's ranges and kind of take yesterday's action, that whole 100 day rebalancing fiasco and just kind of put it to bed uh, once and for all. That's it, boys and girls. Have a great, great day. The stage is set. We know the players. Uh, we know the scene. We know the script. Now the question is, can we write a magical ending for tomorrow's session? Guys, God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.